Okay, so now let me show you how you can easily animate a snake like this. So this is uh, like a, a quick hack. So you just add a, a curve and uh, make it the same length as your snake. So I'll just uh, drag this like this and add a few control points. You can add as many as you want, but the more, the more control you have, but it's also going to be harder to animate. Select the snake and then select the curve, control P, curve the form. So that now you can deform the snake using the, the curve. You can uh, say you want the, the snake to come in uh, making corners like this. Basically, you are just making it move along uh, the path. But we also want the path, to, we want the snake to have more life to it. So let me use an automatic like this. And I don't want this to go through the ground. So this should be so if I animated this on the Y by just if I animate, move this on the Y it will just take that path and uh, you can always go to the curve and change the twist method either put it up minimum or tangent but z up is usually the best for, for something like this but uh, you see how we can easily animate this and uh, yeah, I'm going to extend this a bit you can use control control click to do that to extend the curve you can even see how that look it would look in the camera See, it's a, it's, a, it's a really quick way to animate uh, the camera. But And if you want to have uh, some bit of animation, because at the end here, because right now it's just static, it's not doing anything, you can add some control points to, to these here, to these controls. So control H, add a hook, hook there, and add a hook there. Now you can add secondary motion to this. Maybe uh, we can just make it feel organic more organic yeah without setting up a complicated rig or what so just add some secondary motion and i can also do it here just to make the snake feel more lively see and then maybe i can even add another hook here one thing you want, you want to make sure is that all the three points of that control point are selected when you're adding a hook. So, so something like this. Otherwise, if you just select one and add a hook, it will just be controlling that point, not the entire control point. So, and then maybe we can make it jump forward, leap forward. As it does that, you can just also animate it. And maybe animate it opening its mouth. So uh, to, to animate it opening its mouth, you just have to use some shape keys. So the so you just go to edit mode, add a new shape key, add a new shape key out of edit mode, and then go to edit mode and uh, just and uh, deform this and then shop key and then deform this up turn on proportion editing and just uh, make sure it's set this to connected only open and uh, you can even give it some fangs okay so now yes keyframe this property this value That's a really quick way to animate a snake. Perfect. Prayer files are going to be in the description. See you in the next video.